All right, guys, fun little weekend project on the go here. Uh, I actually talked about this project in a podcast that I do called The Simple Little Life Podcast. You can check it out. That's one of two podcasts. I've got another one. I haven't really mentioned this to anybody and I don't know if I really will. Anyways, welcome to my wife's and my bedroom. Um, so what we had wanted in this room, well, we didn't know what we really wanted. So let's so kind of back up here. Uh, bathroom here, windows, closet right in there uh and then the doors to go to the rest of the house this wall had nothing on it we wanted something something here but we weren't sure and then we thought you know what it would be nice to have a complete custom built in floor to ceiling wall to wall boom have this sucker in place but i'm not gonna hire it out i mean i'm a diy kind of a guy but at the same time i'm not really a cabinet maker and this would have taken a long time. So what we did, same thing a lot of people have done, that's how we got the idea, I think it's on Pinterest of course, but we decided to put in these Billy bookcases from Ikea. Lo and behold, we ended up having to cut the baseboards out right there. Also I had to notch that one down so there's clearance for the bottom of the door there for when this opens up. But coming over to this side, look at the fit. We'll need a little trim piece in there. And probably one down here. But this is five Billy bookcases perfectly situated on this wall. And we put these two in and then these two in and we went to slide this last one in. It just went, it was like just, like there's no gap. It's absolutely perfect. So that happened last weekend and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna start clamping these together. And then I've got these one inch screws. I'm gonna start screwing these together. Uh, hopefully kind of doing it in line with some of these so that where there's a shelf it won't be in the way and then once that's done then I need to go through and do all the adjustments on these doors bring everything nice and tight it's funny how <laughs> as soon as this goes in like the moment this goes in we put books on it <laughs> we start using it for storage I put my airsoft and nerf guns on it although this display i've been told isn't going to stay i thought what a great place we'll get a little light in there and we'll just shine some lights on these here weapons weapons that i can shoot my kids with when we were first married i wanted to hang a harley davidson v twin above our fireplace and she said no to that too i'm not going to say she's wrong though she's got better taste than i do so i just trust her anyways we're going to go ahead and start working on this here should not take very long and then the other thing we need to do take some brackets that they give us these guys right here and the top shelves here they come off what I'm gonna do is find some studs I'll probably do four of them and then I'll screw this bracket into the stud screw this into the top of the bookshelf thus preventing oh, the shelf from coming down on us so it's 5 30 I got to do this then I got a barbecue pizza this shouldn't take long though So if we're nice and flush there, nice and flush there, and nice and flush there, I think we're good to screw this thing together. We'll do that at every joint. And then when we're done, we will have one solid unit that we can screw to the wall. Now the big reason I'm not screwing it to the wall first is because I care more about these joints making this thing a solid like one piece rather than I think it'd be a mistake to screw each individual one to the wall because then you know you're kind of committed to the the fluctuations and the deviance in the wall walls aren't perfectly straight when they build them but that way we'll make one solid unit and we'll screw the whole thing together anchor to the wall and we'll be good to go all right the setup we're using for this we've got one of these countersinking bits so we've got a little drill bit there a twist drill and then this little countersink apparatus the nice thing with this is that uh, this slides in and out and you just lock it with that so you can adjust the depth uh, that you clear out so ultimately you know this is the the inner diameter of our screw so we could drill that out that way you prevent like the wood from cracking or breaking or anything like that and then all we do is figure out where we want to drill and it leaves a nice little countersink there so when we take our little screw put it in for a screwdriver and then when we're done we'll take a little filler a little like white filler and we'll fill that in and uh, got some in here, and this sucker is pretty rigid. These are the tools. And then occasionally the old knockometer if we need to make some micro adjustments. Right, 
right, so we went to undo this one, but this whole thing went in because typically walls can curve when they come to the corners where they mud them. So what we're going to do is we're going to anchor the center portion and stud right there. So right there where it lights up, that's where there is a stud. So here's a total fail. These suckers have Phillips on them. Robertson is by far superior fastener and should always be used. Phillips should be abandoned. Piece of crap. It's all done. Got it all anchored up. And now we're ready to put in the shelves. The next step, it's not gonna happen right now, but I'm gonna actually make some trim pieces that go up in here. And we'll actually carry it right to the ceiling. And then once those are in place, then we'll put in a trim piece right here. And I'm also thinking about maybe doing a little bit of a trim piece, kind of like this. And maybe putting some little LED lights in here. I don't know. You can really dress these things up quite nicely and they look really, really good. If you put a little bit of effort into them, so that's kind of the plan. But for right now, I'm excited to have this done, and we are gonna go throw some pizzas on the barbecue. Every single night, it's a rock and roll concert. So it's actually the next morning. We had a wonderful pizza evening and I did get this finished up mostly. Uh, you can see we put some of our books on here and I think it looks fantastic. Like that just makes this whole room look so much better. We're not entirely sure if we're gonna leave this center one at slightly different spacing. We might match everything else, but we're not sure. If we had some nice piece to exhibit there, that'd be kind of neat. Oh, this thing right here, this is cool. This is an 1854 Noah Webster dictionary. Really cool thing about it, it's got somebody's signature in here. That's pretty crazy. So that's kind of a neat thing to have on display. It's dirty, it's falling apart. And actually yesterday the kids were playing a game with that dictionary where they'd like look up words and try and guess what they meant. I thought, don't use that one. We've got other dictionaries in this house, but if you've ever wondered if these Billy bookcases really actually do work, if they do look good, I, th I think it kind of speaks for itself. I'm really, really happy with the way this looked. Not nearly as expensive as if we had, uh, you know, had some custom thing built or even having to build one myself. And then we've got all kinds of other storage in the bottom. This I really like. You know, you got shelves in there. You could put like all your shoes or what have you. Still got my Nerf armory in there. Well, my Nerf gun, but. And then also once we commit to the shelves, we'll fill these in and uh, then it'll be done. Anyways, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully maybe it gave you an idea. And I, I was really excited about this. These Billy bookcases, they're pretty cool. Cheers. Thank you.